Actor John Cazal first appeared on film in the Marvin Starkman directed 10 minute short from 1962, The American Way, where he uses jumper cables connected to a box to attempt to blow up such iconic American objects as Yankee Stadium, Mother's Day cards, and apple pie. It wasn't until 1972 that Cazal made his feature film debut in The Godfather, the story of a family on top of the organized crime world in post-World War II New York. Cazal starred as Fredo Corleone, son of Marlon Brando's Vito Corleone and brother to Al Pacino's Michael and James Caan's Sonny. Cazal skillfully portrays the weakest of the three brothers and provides the audience with a character in contrast to the violent hothead Sonny and to the calculating mastermind Michael. Cazal was directed by Francis Ford Coppola and shared screen time with Robert Duvall, Diane Keaton, and Talia Shire. The film would go on to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Two years later, in 1974, Cazal would star in two releases, each also directed by Francis Ford Coppola. In the first film, entitled The Conversation, Cazal played the character Stan, the colleague of the leading man Gene Hackman's Harry Call. The film follows the paranoid, obsessive Call, a wiretapper, as he is paid to record a private conversation, which he then contemplates delivering to his client for fear that the tape's subjects may find themselves in mortal danger. Cazal plays Stan's normality in such a way as to highlight the eccentricities of Hackman's call. Also featured in the film, although not necessarily in scenes with Cazal, are Harrison Ford, Terry Garr, and Robert Duvall. At the Academy Awards, The Conversation, which holds at 98% on Rotten Tomatoes, was nominated for the Best Picture of 1974, but lost to the year's other collaboration between Francis Coppola and John Cazal, The Godfather Part II. The follow-up to The Godfather acts as both a sequel and a prequel, with half the story taking place before the events of the original film and starring Robert De Niro as Vito Corleone, and the other half of the story covering events taking place afterwards. John Cazal stars in the sequel section of the movie reprising his role as Fredo Corleone. The Godfather Part II, in its two sections, essentially recounts the tales first of how the Corleone family came to be the most powerful crime family in New York, and then second, how the family, led by Michael, attempts to maintain its power on the national level. Cazal's Fredo plays a more central and tragic role than he did in the first film. Cazal again shares the screen with Pacino, Duvall, Keaton, and Shire. In 1975, John Cazal acted in his first feature film not directed by Coppola, the Sidney Lumet guided picture Dog Day Afternoon, a bank robbery film in which Al Pacino's Sonny and John Cazal's Sal hold up a New York bank and create for themselves a tense, hostage situation that is accompanied by a media frenzy. Cazal plays Sal as a nervous, proud, and dangerous opposite to Pacino's warmer, more thoughtful, and more likable Sonny, adding tension to each scene they share. Dog Day Afternoon was nominated for Best Picture but would lose to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This would be Cazal's third and final collaboration with Pacino. The last movie Cazal filmed before his untimely death due to cancer was The Deer Hunter, released in 1978. The Deer Hunter follows a group of friends in an industrial Pennsylvania town before, during, and after the Vietnam War, displaying how the war changed the community. Cazal plays Stan and portrays a somewhat unconfident man who does not go to the war and is forced to see his pals Michael, played by Robert De Niro, Stephen, played by John Savage, and Nick, played by Christopher Walken, leave without him. It seems that Stan's viewpoint gives the audience the experience of mystery, confusion, and the outsider perspective felt by civilians who were close to men who became warfighters. Co-starring in the film was Cazal's real-life romantic partner Meryl Streep. The Deer Hunter won Best Picture at the Academy Awards, meaning that all five feature films in which Cazal starred were either nominated for or won the award.